Hughes go set a watchman. It upends to kill a mockingbird's familiar narrative of the saintly father. Jim, go home and take Scott and Bill home with you. And the possibility of moral certainties. Son, I said go home. The South will break your heart. Diane McWhorter is an author and historian. What does this book say about Harper, the person? Well, it certainly says she was well ahead of her time. Harper Lee was born in Monroeville, Alabama. At 23 years old, she moved to New York with the 1950s civil rights movement unfolding around her. It was then she wrote, Go Set a Watchman, set during the same time. Scout, there are some things that you're not old enough to understand just yet. In Watchmen, readers meet a more complex Atticus Finch. The noble moral lawyer from To Kill a Mockingbird is now a 72-year-old rationalizing racist and segregationist. That's right, and they got him right here today, right in the yes, state of Virginia. Totally realistic. Nah, wait. They got him right here in Virginia, right today. And we tend to look at these issues as good versus evil, but Atticus was not evil. He was totally normal for his time. But in 1957, evil. publishers rejected Watchmen. So a lot of times we recognize things in ourselves by analogy. And by hindsight. By hindsight. So it may well be that this, that this book would not have been nearly as powerful as To Kill Mockingbird was. Um, so, that, so in that sense, maybe the editor was right. Now, 60 years later, Harper Lee is once again opening the book on race. Watchman's release comes one month after a white man shot nine black parishioners <coughs> in a Charleston church. That's right, they just right as Scout confronts just her like racist that. father in Watchmen, America is coming to terms with lingering hate. While we're patting yes, ourselves on the back they of the helmet, we anyway. we're still it. doing the same thing. So right. we do change, but we don't learn anything. That's but right. then there are those that do. I came back with a vow. That if I came back, it was going to be to change it, not to conform to it. When Wayne Flint returned to Alabama in 1965, he helped his black neighbors register to vote and started teaching to kill a mockingbird. So for you, knowledge is power. Yes, there it was is. no question. Knowledge was power. Yes, it it is. was power from voting and power from education. Flint also That's became why they close held friends it with back. Harper Lee and says he's confident she's written more books just waiting to be found. Is there a sense of hope in this book? I can't imagine that in anything Harper Lee ever did, there is no sense of hope. That's just not Harper Lee. Harper Lee always believes that life is lots more complicated than it seems and that there's always the possibility of redemption and reconciliation. Well, when it was announced last year that Ghost Set a Watchman had been discovered, there were rumors that Harper Lee may not have been mentally fit enough to consent to its release. Yeah, but now right. everyone we spoke to, her friends, her colleagues, so all of them told us mind. that she was of sound uh, mind That's and that right. she wanted this book published. What's the most interesting aspect of all this for you? The connection, really, between what happened then and the fact that she was turned down for the book by her editor and told put it back and go and um Race and, and for a younger time and go to a younger time a more innocent time and the fact that it's being released Race. 60 years later at a time where you're seeing the fall of the confederate flag and you're seeing this come out because everything that they talk about that she talks about and today. everything we're dealing with right now is in this book well, I hate that anything changes about Atticus Finch, but I can't wait to read it. Yeah, it, you I should can't read it. it. I should can't wait to read it. it. I, it was much more delightful for me than Mockingbird. Wow. Whoa. Wow. Michelle. For me. Okay. okay. <laughs> for me. Thank you, Michelle. Taylor Swift found some blank space between her and the stage. We'll show you the breakdown at her concert that almost left the singer well stranded. You're watching CBS this morning. More real news. That's our promise to you. CBS This Morning. One NZT pill. You ready to become somebody who matters? You may think you know how to think, but now I add access to every single brain cell. He got away from six of our agents. Every time he takes it, he becomes the smartest person in the world. Let's make him our resource. Sure about this? It's time. 
What does your dream kitchen or bath look like? Trinity Renovations can make your dreams a reality. For 16 years, Trinity has helped homeowners enhance the beauty and value of their home. Trinity's state-of-the-art showroom will help you transform your kitchen or bath from ordinary to extraordinary. From value lines to stunning designer styles, Trinity makes it easy. Visit our showroom today in the Kroger Shopping Center on Mechanicsville Turnpike or call us for your free kitchen or bath remodeling consultation. Emerson said, though we travel the world over to find the beautiful, we must carry it with us or we find it not. Who knew great gas mileage could be so poetic? See for yourself at the Chrysler Summer Clearance Event. Well-qualified current lessees of competitive vehicles get a low mileage lease on the 2015 Chrysler 200 Limited for $199 a month. It is a entire transformation. It's like we have a new home. Real customers share their stories about Empire today. It's just that above and beyond that Empire is known for. The crew was professional. They were courteous. They worked so fast. But the quality is amazing. Empire's products are top notch. The carpeting, the flooring, it's phenomenal. I'm so happy we selected Empire. 800-588-2300, Empire. Today. Gateway Hyundai is stocked full of great pre-owned vehicles for you. Choose from our lineup of used cars and trucks, including many vehicles in our 15,000 and under selection. And all of our pre-owned vehicles undergo a thorough 166-point inspection by our factory-trained technicians. Plus, each vehicle features a 100,000-mile warranty. So if you're looking for a certified pre-owned vehicle, think Gateway. Gateway Hyundai, I-95, exit 58, just south of Richmond, or at gatewayhyundaiofrichmond.com. You get hurt in a car wreck, you call the insurance company. We always expect the money to come out of the phone. Penny? You deserve more. Money for medical bills, lost wages, and money for your pain and suffering. Call the Pendleton Law Team. And what's that cost them on? Nothing. We win or it's free. Car wreck? And deserve more money? Call 250-5050. Nothing's worse. We're the heavy hitters. It's easy, because we know how. The heavy hitters are the way to go. Call 250 This morning, Taylor Swift is shaking off a glitch at her concert last night. I'll just be here forever, stuck. A malfunctioning, extendable stage at Nationals Park in Washington, D.C. left her stranded in the air, but the singer joked she'd be stuck on the platform forever unless she jumped down. Fortunately, though, it never got to that point, so she performed her next song from several feet above the stage. The problem was fixed within minutes, and the show went on as planned. And Nora Donald and her kids got to see one of those. Yep, they, got, they were there last night. There are more shows if you'd like to go. I'd love to. That does it for us. We'll see you tomorrow on CBS This Morning. You too, Jeff. Charlie and Wade together easy. at Taylor. <laughs> Play ball! Nazi! Nazi! Fireworks! <laughs> Thursday at 7.05, the squirrels are at home at the Diamond, featuring In Your Face Fireworks, sponsored by your local Ford dealers. about Ford. Announcing the Ford Summer Sales Event. Now get our best offers of the year on Focus, Fusion, and Escape. 0% financing for 72 months, plus $750 cash back, and no payments until fall. That's 0% financing for 72 months, plus $750 cash back, and no payments until fall on Fusion, Escape, and Focus during the Ford Summer Sales Event. At Window World, there's a world of possibilities. From high-performance products like windows, siding, and doors. To professional installation at a guaranteed low price. Call 1-800-NEXT-WINDOW or visit windowworldrichmond.com to schedule your free in-home estimate. CBS 6 Traffic, powered by James Over Air. 
Getting Social Security disability benefits can be a difficult and confusing process, especially if your claim has already been denied. You need a skilled disability lawyer on your side. Call Jeff McDonald and Associates. We understand the system and how it works. If you can't work due to a disease, illness, or injury, and you've been denied, let us fight for you. There's no cost unless we get the benefits you deserve. Just call Jeff, 804-888-8888. Hyundai's Summer of Savings is heating up, and these deals are sizzling. Elantra, Sonata, Santa Fe, and Genesis. Get our lowest prices on our best selection of new Hyundais. Drive Sonata with zero APR for 75 months, or get up to $5,000 in total savings, all with America's best warranty. Five years longer than the competition. Our best prices of the year. Our largest inventory, from award-winning family cars to the safest SUVs. That's Hyundai's Summer of Savings at your Greater Richmond Hyundai dealer. Sleepy's one-day mattress sale is tomorrow. Preview the sale today and save up to 60% on select Sealy, Serta, and Beautyrest mattresses. With Simmons Queen Sets starting at just $2.89. And Sealy Posturepedic Queen Sets just $4.99. Plus, get free delivery on Tempur-Pedic and more. Only Sleepy's has mattress professionals to find you the most comfortable mattress. And Only Sleepy's beats anyone's price by 20% or it's free. Sleepy's, the only mattress professionals. The $600 Walmart gift card is back. Weekdays on CBS 6 This Morning. This is Virginia This Morning on CBS 6. Hello and good morning to you. Thanks so much for joining us here on this Tuesday, the 14th day of July for Virginia This Morning. We've got a great show ahead for you to enjoy, and it starts right at the top of the hour at 9 a.m., as we do each weekday right here on CBS 6. I'm Cheryl Miller. Well, good morning, Cheryl, and good morning to you. I'm Jessica Nall. This is not something you see every day. We're in for a real treat in the Virginia This Morning kitchen with Richmond entrepreneur Rima Patel. Her sandwich shop has a delicious menu featuring bacon, and today we're going to make the ultimate creation of salty and sweet it's a bacon milkshake. Yes, you heard that right. It's a perfect second breakfast. I think it's got everything you need. <laughs> Sounds good. And after that tasty milkshake, you'll want to listen to Dr. Harold Katz, who's joining us today. He is the founder of the California Breath Clinics and is here with some tips today to help us freshen our breath. I hope everybody's checked themselves. Plus, 50 years ago today, President Lyndon Johnson signed the Older Americans Act into law. As we live longer, the tenants that set out become even more important today. Dr. Thelma Watson from Senior Connections and Deputy Commissioner Bob Brink of the Department for Aging and Rehabilitative Services are here with us today. We'll talk more about that. Jessica? Some great conversations today. These guests and features are coming up today on our live show, which kicks into high gear after we check in with CBS 6 meteorologist Mr. Mike Goldberg. He's got a look at our forecast to help us plan our day. Good morning, Mike. Good morning to you, Jess. We have a pretty nice morning out there. It's a little bit warm and humid. A few of you have seeing a few showers out to the west that may come across the metro over the next hour or so. It is 72 downtown, 75 in Chester, 72 in Ashland, 72 in Short Pump right now. And temperature-wise, over the next seven days, we're going to be pretty close to the normal high of 90 degrees for the most part. There's one day that sticks out. It's going to be somewhat refreshing on Thursday, a little cooler and less humid air by the end of the week. But in the meantime, it is hot out there today, and we are going to have a chance for some storms by later on this afternoon, in particular this evening, the threat for some severe weather. Tomorrow, still a storm or two in the uh, forecast. Thursday and Friday look like our dry days. And the weekend at this point, any storms are going to be very isolated each afternoon so it shouldn't be a major problem for weekend plans here's the severe weather risk today the most significant risk back off to the west and down to the south in the Carolinas but the yellow here is our second category of severe weather risk slight risk across all of central Virginia mainly this evening I think the timing is going to be after about six o'clock that we would see any of these really strong storms this morning I mentioned a shower or two coming through over the next hour and then that's gone we'll see a little bit of sunshine and here are a few scattered storms popping up by the dinner hour but if any line develops much like last night it will likely occur later on this is about 10 o'clock this evening could be some storms up and down the i-95 corridor and the threat for damaging winds potentially some large hail even an isolated tornado can't be ruled out so we're going to watch this potential very closely we clear it out by tomorrow morning tomorrow afternoon one or two storms popping up and then on thursday it looks like a beautiful day less humid with sunshine in the forecast. So today, a mixture of clouds and sunshine, maybe that quick passing shower. This morning, the main threat for thunderstorms will come towards evening. Southwesterly wind 10 to 20 miles an hour with a high of 93. A couple of thunderstorms that could pack a punch tonight. 
Warm and muggy, we drop to an overnight low of 73 degrees. And your seven day forecast tomorrow, not quite as hot, <coughs> but still near 90. An afternoon <coughs> thunderstorm, a possibility. Look at these two days, Thursday and Friday, really, really nice. Less humid weather, highs in the mid and upper 80s, and we get back into the 90s over the weekend. Nothing more than an isolated storm each afternoon. That's the latest on our forecast. Virginia this morning begins right now. This is Virginia This Morning with Greg McQuaid, Cheryl Miller, Jessica Nall, and Bill Bevins. And now, Virginia This Morning on CBS 6. And good morning. Thanks so much for joining us here on Virginia This Morning. I'm Cheryl Miller. Aging gracefully and maintaining a good quality of life is something we all hope to do. And every day, another 10,000 baby boomers turn 65. On July 14, 1965, President Lyndon Johnson signed the Older Americans Act into law. It created a services network to provide social and nutrition services to America's older citizens so that they can maintain their independence and dignity as long as possible. Joining us today from the Department of Aging and Rehabilitative Services are the Deputy Commissioner, Bob Brink, and Dr. Thelma Watson from Senior Connections. My Good morning girl. to both of you. Good morning. It's uh, very perfect what that we have you here on the anniversary day of, of this uh, Older Americans Act. Um, Dr. Brink, calling. tell us exactly what this was set out and designed to do. Well, 50 years ago, uh, the Congress and President Johnson uh, formulated the Older Americans Act in order to ensure that older adults would be able to live as independently and in their community for as long as possible. And what the act does is to provide support services in various areas, personal care, health care, nutrition, and so on, to provide that safety net that, uh, that many older adults need in order to achieve those goals. Now, when they set out this act, they said probably 60 and older. If you ask any 60-year-old these days, they tell you, I'm a middle-aged person. Yes, yeah, they say 60 is the new 40, right? That, that's right. That's so right. I would assume that the way that the, organiz that the act has, has um, changed and is, is used now has changed since it was enacted 50 years ago. That's right. One of the challenges of the Older Americans Act now is to keep up with the changing profile of older adults here in the United States. Uh, we're a more diverse group of people, and I say we because uh, I'm on Medicare now. Uh, <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> thank you. Uh, more diverse and, uh, and living longer and living healthier. And uh, so the Older Americans Act and other support services need to keep up with those changes. And Dr. Watson, I'm sure with Senior Connections, you guys are very, very busy these days. Yes, we are very busy in the Richmond area. And as we talk about older adults, I will also say we. <laughs> and as you talk about 60 being the new 40, one of the provisions of the Older Americans Act has been over the last 50 years to engage older girl. adults as volunteers in our community. She and in fact, Obama as we deliver the services the that Virginia, Deputy that Commissioner Brink right just spoke about, we use volunteers Obama to do this. Obama so would have no one. In addition one. to recognizing the importance that woman right of there. the Older Americans Act and meeting the needs of older adults, also we want to recognize them as our valuable resources in our communities. And remember that at 60 these days, you're extremely still vital if you're lucky. Mm -hmm. Yes, and another aspect that we want to emphasize is that we have millions of people, thousands here in our community in Richmond serving as caregivers. They need support so that they can um, take care of their responsibilities and uh, making sure that older adults, family members, and friends get to and from medical appointments and that they're able to maintain their health and be as healthy as possible. Mm -hmm. We talk a lot about the sandwich generation and that generation that's taking care of children mm -hmm. and older adults in the family as well. Uh, and that's where kind of some of your services come in because just the stress alone of doing Could that can no need girl. kind of a support system. Uh, exactly. And what we want to emphasize is that aging is living. That as we age, we want to make sure that we have livable communities uh, most of our communities in Virginia are engaged in age-way planning, in other words, recognizing the services that exist, uh, looking for ways to enhance those services, and certainly looking to the future and uh, recognizing and celebrating um, older adults in our communities. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that's where the state agency comes in, kind of as an umbrella looking at the different needs of the different communities across the state of Virginia. That's right. Uh, we administer the Older Americans Act through 25 local area agencies on aging, all the way from Big Stone Gap to uh, Virginia mm -hmm. Beach and from Loudoun down mm -hmm. to South Hill. And um, uh, Dr. Watson 
is the head of uh, what I consider one of the best local area mm -hmm. agencies on aging, mm -hmm. uh, Senior Connections mm -hmm. here, which uh, covers Richmond and seven surrounding counties. Uh, and uh, it is these local area agencies on aging that really are the boots on the ground. And that's what you need is because this is a day-to-day -day operation because, as we mentioned, 10,000 people are, are becoming, you know, 65 every day. That's right. And that's where your, your services are, are probably getting really stressed and taxed. Well, our services are there. And one thing is that we can provide information or resources to everybody. We want people... Uh, to see the Area Agencies on Aging and the Department for Aging and Rehabilitative Services as a valuable resource to call and to learn about how to get enrolled with Medicare and how to find um, meals and transportation, home care in our communities so that it's easier for our families to navigate the system. Right, it's another transition in life and, and all the answers are there. You've got them. We may not necessarily have them and, and you're the resource. Well, we want to be the resource, and we recognize that situations are different, and we can work with individual families um, to find those resources for them. Mm -hmm. This is the 50th anniversary, as we mentioned, of the Older Americans Act. Are there any special celebrations or any kind of things going on to, to mark the occasion? Well, as a matter of fact, yesterday there was a White House conference on aging that I was honored to attend, uh, which was uh, hosted by the president and... Uh, uh, the, the uh, Department of Health and Human Services, which is the federal partner of the Older Americans Act. So we had that, and also it's given impetus for us here in Virginia to uh, 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 have a governor's conference on aging next May. It will pick up on the themes and concerns of the White House conference on aging in order to make sure that, uh, that we have the services and supports that we need to, uh, to help our older Virginians uh, as we uh, proceed into the 21st century. Dr. So from the White House yesterday to here on Virginia represent. this morning today, that's quite, that's right. quite a little oh, trip there. No. So what was the main she focus of, of yesterday's the White conversation? House it uh, centered on financial security, on caregiving support, which Dr. Watson referred to, on uh, uh, personal care, and on aging well. We had uh, Diana Nyad, uh, who was the first swimmer to go from, uh, from Cuba to, uh, to Florida a few years ago, uh, mm -hmm. who's undertaking a walk across America next year and is going to involve uh, uh, as many older adults as possible in that effort to walk all the way from uh, the Pacific to the Atlantic. Mm -hmm. uh, as people make that step from middle age to older American, hopefully your, your services will still be there to help us all the way. Oh, we're looking forward to that. Well, thank you both so much for joining us here today. Thank, well, thank you, you for having us. You're very welcome, thank and congratulations you. on the 50th anniversary. Big hey, thanks to Bob Brink and Dr. Thelma Watson. Watson rather. We'll put a link to more information on our website at WTVR.com.